Welcome to Survival Theory. I'm out in the Nantahala National Forest and I'm out here to camp and, <clears throat> and do some trout fishing. I've been out here a while hiking. I'm following this uh, branch, this river branch up the mountain hoping to do some trout fishing but it's, it's been raining most of the day and so you know the river is flowing pretty hard I don't know if I'll be able to do any trout fishing in it right now it's still cloudy yeah so I've been out here uh, ouch, a long time hiking and I probably haven't even gone very far. It's because it's slow going, it's steep, it's thick. It's a lot thicker than I thought it would be. You know, there's no trail and my gosh, that creek is so overgrown that how am I gonna find a pool to fish in? But I'll show you the creek and uh, point the camera to where I'm hiking for a while and I'll talk to you later. It's so dark down in there, I don't know if you can see it, but there's the creek. I've got to go try to get in that clearing up there, see what's going on. I've got to find a campsite first and then explore the creek. Well, cancel that. First, I've got to find a campsite and then see if I can get enough dry material, some tinder, some sticks, so I can get a fire going later. It's a healthy sized box turtle. Black underneath. It's a good weight. Very pretty shell. Have fun little buddy. Check that out. It's a big old snail there. I like this spot. That's actually very flat right there. I'm surrounded by rock, surrounded by rock. That's thick, thick woods above it. No game trail or any kind of clearing going through it. Um, tie my hammock, tie my hammock. Clear out a little bit of this under stuff here. They're gonna go for it. First thing I had to do is figure out where to put this camera. Clear a little spot for that. So hopefully you can see everything. Right there. 
and if I fall out of my hammock, and it's straight downhill. But I'll be able to put a fire right here. I'll try to gather up some rocks. So I'm not going to try to rake the ground except right where I'm going to put a fire. So. I think there's a bear right down there. Something pretty loud, that's for sure. Pretty close to the creek. Well, anyway, so while I'm looking to see what that was, I'll tell you what my situation is. It may not rain anymore, but it may continue raining. But I brought my hammock, but the fly is not included because I, uh, I bought a different tarp for the hammock rather than the one that comes with it and I didn't bring it in my head I was thinking that you know oh yeah the tarps inside this hammock bag just grab the bag no there's no tarp inside there so <clears throat> no tarp and I didn't bring my poncho because I was really trying to lighten my load because I'm adding uh, you know camera gear I brought my underwater camera and and my fishing pole and to offset that weight and because I knew this was rough terrain as well as a higher elevation less oxygen I really lightened my load by taking out a few things including my poncho um, so yeah we'll see how that goes though I'll set it up like normal, and if worse comes to worse, I will flip it over and use the bottom as a tarp and make some kind of bed out of sticks and leaves. I'm assuming that was a bear. What else would it be? I mean, it was... Well, anyway, we'll see. Back to setting up. There's definitely something down there. It was over here, and now it's right over there. <clears throat> as long as we don't bother each other, I'm cool. So I'm trying to find some rocks I can put around that fire. I got the hammock set up. So that's where I'm going to build my fire, a uh, very small fire. I just need to either um, cook some trout, which that's obviously not going to happen um, because of the time I have left and because of the weather conditions, you know, with the uh, creek raging like it is. Um, so I think I'll try in the morning for sure if it doesn't rain more. 
but <clears throat> my phone has just enough signal to send me notifications, but you know, I can't connect to those notifications. So I'm going to turn that off. And I know I've got about 45 minutes to an hour left of daylight. So I need to try to collect some tinder and sticks, things like that. Everything is soaking wet. I did not bring any tinder. I probably got some emergency tinder in here in my knife survival kit, but see if I can go without using that. Of course, I've got a little bit of, gosh, what do I have? I've got things I can use, you know, part of my gear, but I'm going to try to use natural tinder. So I'm going to go dig for that and uh, get busy starting this fire. Yeah, so check this out. Doesn't want to burn much. I wonder the ferro rod wouldn't start it. So I ended up having to use a lighter and I've been babying that fire for like half an hour feeding it shavings trying to get this wet stuff going it looks like I've got enough of a fire now where I can still constantly maintain it and get some water boiled for my freeze-dried meal Whew. that was a lot of work it's still gonna be a lot of work just to keep it going Kind of reminds me of the jungles of Costa Rica. Thick, green, wet. And that's all the water I have, besides what's in my water bladder. That better be friggin' enough. So it's probably been 30 to 45 minutes since I started babying that fire and put the uh, water on it. It's not boiling yet because the fire is so small and it's mainly on one side of it. Um, but it should be about another 10 minutes or so for it to get hot enough. Tell you what, it's uh, dark here but I can see the sky still. I can hear that raging creek. Um, every once in a while I hear something down there, some kind of animal, but it's not hot. It's humid, but because it's not hot, you don't really feel it. It's gonna be a beautiful night. So now my meal is ready. I got the uh, Mountain House. Probably can't see it there. Mountain House chicken teriyaki, two and a half serving package. It's a lot of food. But until then, bone appetite. So I just took my uh, bag down to the creek, <clears throat> my mountain house bag. 
rinsed it off in the creek. And that was a treacherous journey <clears throat> in and of itself, let me tell you. Um, burning the bag now. It's just about gone. It's under those sticks. So, I'm already pretty dang tired. It's pretty late. So basically, I spent all evening getting a fire started and warming up some water. You know, it didn't take that long to eat or heat the food up. But it took forever to get that water hot and to get a fire started. Whew. Some things don't turn out the way you think they're going to. <clears throat> but I'm going to hop in my hammock. I do not have a sleeping pad. But I do have a very thin down blanket. Uh, it's waterproof lining around it. But it's a thin down blanket. So I should feel very comfortable tonight. I do have my inflatable pillows. So should be good to go. Ooh. Before that dies down, I'm going to hop in the hammock and get some sleep. See you in the morning. If a bear doesn't get me. <clears throat> the reason I'm mentioning bears a lot is because, well, I'll, I'll tell you in the morning. I'll tell you what's going on around here with the bears. See you in the morning. Another beautiful morning. You know, anything three fingers and um, and over, I had to shave the bark off, split it, you know, to get semi-dry material in it so it could start burning. And that's just a lot, that's a lot of processing. And I didn't have time to process that much wood and stack it up to get a mm. substantial fire. Yeah, and everything's soaking wet, so a lot of trouble to build a fire out here right now. I'm in the Smoky Mountains, and I guess they call it the Smoky Mountains either because, like right now, I'm in the clouds. I'm, I'm inside the clouds. That's how high up I am. Or um, all your fires are smoky because they're soaking wet. It's one of those reasons. Another valuable use for a good compass, checking the slope on the ground you're camping on. So I'm going to use that to see how steep this area is. So my plan is throw the backpack on and carry nothing in my hands but my hiking stick so I won't be able to walk and talk. Um, if I had a GoPro, I might be able to do that. But th this ground is so sloped, slippery, and soft. I need you know, one hand free and one hand with my hiking stick or both hands on that hiking stick. A little bit earlier, I sank down, you know, I was walking in one foot, sank down into the leaves, all the way up to my crotch. My whole leg went down, like straight down. So, yeah, it's not good. No injuries though. So, <clears throat> not gonna walk and talk. It's pretty difficult climbing. It's hard on the feet, you gotta go slow because of those soft spots. And if there's a stick under the leaves, your foot 
it has no traction on that wet moldy stick and you just slide right off so I've got to go slow but anyway I'm gonna try to hike all the way back to the truck drop off my backpack take a hip belt with some basic survival gear my fishing pole and my net and go on the other side of this creek and try to do some trout fishing. Alright, so right up there, through that sunlight, I can see lots of bees flying around, and there's a nest right at the base of that tree. Now in Texas, you've got the killer bees, which you definitely do not want to mess with. I don't know if they have those here in North Carolina. Man, they are very active. Look at that. I got my fishing license from North Carolina, so I'm going to take advantage of that and drive around and find some fishing spots. But thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. I've got my Blackbird with the survival pouch. And let me show you up here. Okay, I got my canteen. I use that. That's my water camera. This is my snake bag and inflatable pillow, which I did not use. I brought my Crocs, which I did not use. Camera batteries. My O-Light, which I definitely did use every time I heard a noise. My Schmog. My cutting board which unfortunately I did not get to use. Some utensils. I only use my spoon. Camp light, I definitely use that. Compass, I use that. This is my food, I use that. My um, saw, I use that. Gloves, did not use. Um, we got the Black Diamond Storm, I definitely use that. I use the Get Out Gear Down Puffy Blanket. I use the DN, uh, DD Frontline Hammock with no tarp. Fortunately, it did not rain. I've got the uh, backpack here with the water bladder. First time I used the pouch that comes on this pack. Let me take that off. I just took this with me to go fishing. Let's see, is there anything in here? Nothing in there. Nothing in there. That's the floater for my water camera. Now those are the lures that I was going to use to fish with. Basically beetle bodies. And in this main pocket I've got some bank line. I definitely use that. Some cordage here, I didn't use that, uh, 550. 
a mosquito repellent, did not use that. And toiletries kit, you know, the burn cream, basic first aid, a toothbrush. I use my toothbrush, that's about it. And that's all. So that's all I brought. It's more than I needed, even though it's not very much.